is up everybody welcome back to my channel today I got a great video for you guys today so today we're going to talk about how to fix up those muddy mixes in your mix okay guys so here we are in logic pro x and what we're going to do is show you guys how to clean up your mix so pretty much we're going to open up our mixer here so here we are in our mixer and I'm going to show you guys this video on the drums today. So the first thing you want to do is we're in our mixer and we want to choose an EQ. So we're going to come over here and we're just going to use the stock EQ that comes in Logic Pro X. So the first thing we want to do is literally we're going to use the stock EQ, but we're going to start on the kick drum here. And then we're going to pick the stock EQ. Now, you always want to start with the low end. So we're going to show you that right now. Here we go. Okay, guys. So like I said, we're going to start with the low end. Now, what I always do in my mixes is I always put a high pass filter on every single track first. So I always start with about 50 hertz. So I always take out 50 hertz on the high pass filter all the way across my drum track. So we're going to do that right now. And what I'll do is I'll put it in fast speed so you guys don't have to wait. Okay, guys, so now that we added a high pass filter to our tracks, what we're going to do next is jump in to the low end, the next part of it, and see if there's any frequencies in there that we can just get rid of. So let's jump into it. So we're first going to go back to our first track that we did. And we're just going to get rid of 500 hertz. Now, 500 hertz is a really bad frequency on drums. I've done other videos on drums where I cut it out 500 hertz. And you guys know that 500 hertz on drums, to me, just sounds awful. So we're going to get rid of that right now. So we're going to type in 500 hertz and we are going to get rid of it and then we're going to cut out about 3 db so negative 3 db then what we're going to do is just shrink it down a little bit so we can get a balanced full thing all right here we go so we're just going to shrink this down here we go and that's all you have to do. So if you're mixing your drums with EQ, make sure you take out 500 hertz because that is the number one frequency that sounds bad on drums. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna open up an EQ here in Logic Pro X. And what I just wanna do is so that you guys understand is that I'm going to walk you through the frequency spectrum and explain to you what each frequency is and how to understand an EQ graph. So pretty much what we have is the EQ chart is from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So that is the human frequency. That's how high a, frequent, a human can hear. A human ear can hear from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. That is how high people can hear. So pretty much the way an EQ graph works is you start in the low end, then you move to the next low, to the low mids, then you move to the mids, then the high, then you start getting into the mid range. Then you get into the high mids and then the highs and then the very highs. So pretty much that is the whole EQ graph. So from 20 Hertz, to 20,000 hertz, that is the range a human ear can hear. All right guys, so now what I wanna do is give you guys a tip on mixing. So before you mix, you know how you're in the recording stage. So now think about this. Recording is all about a good performance. If you don't have a good performance, you're not gonna have a good mix. So the thing is, before you start to record, anything in your mix make sure you are practicing outside of before you start recording 
make sure you practice all of your instruments, your vocals, each part that you've written to your song. Because if you don't have a good performance, you will not have a good mix. Because if you have a bad performance, you can't just go into the mixing stage and expect to get a good mix out of it. Because you can't fix it with mixing if you have a bad performance. Trust me, I have been there and you don't want that. So make sure before you start recording, you practice every single day, probably about two hours a day. So trust me, you cannot fix it in the mixing stage. I know it stinks, but trust me, it will make your job a whole lot easier if you practice your steps. So make sure you are practicing because in the end, when you get to the mix stage, you can't fix it. I know it stinks, but that's just the way it goes, okay? And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, make it turn gray, turn on post notifications, hit the bell so that you guys are notified whenever I post a new video on Golden Productions. Thank you so much for watching guys, you guys are awesome, keep making great music and I hope you learned a lot today about EQ and how to clean up those muddy mixes. So I hope you learned a lot and leave comments down below of any questions you guys have on EQ. You guys are awesome, you guys mean the world to me, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys then.